You gonna tell us we're gonna take a little trip to Alaska? A right. little trip? A uh, little trip? <laughs> and then I'm gonna I'm gonna go over to the itinerary, okay? Dude. Shaking it out. I know the feeling, man. What up, Blackheads? So I'm actually on the way to uh, Los Amigos house uh, to basically get some footage of them packing up because, as I've said in previous videos, they are actually riding from here in Florida, Central Florida, to Alaska. Uh, and actually, they got a picture a couple days ago of one of them in Key West, which is crazy. So, that's what I'm on my way to go do right now. Headed over to meet them. We're gonna get some awesome footage of them packing up their bikes in preparation for the trip. Um, I will drop their link here on the screen, uh, as well as like a screenshot, and uh, then we're gonna be talking to them a little bit about the trip as well. So, that's where we're headed. I do want to run a couple things by you guys in terms of uh, changes happening kind of behind the scenes that you guys aren't seeing. So what I mean by that is uh, there are some changes happening uh, personally in my life and uh, if you guys remember there was a video a couple videos back uh, I think it was the hell on a Harley video or like to hell on a Harley or something like that and so basically I was talking about my job and how it's kind of become a little shitty right so yeah I was talking about my job how it's become a little bit shitty uh well I actually ended up getting an offer from another company and uh I told them no a couple times well they kept on they were very persistent came at me a few times and they finally made me an offer, pretty much what I was asking. So they made me an offer so that I couldn't refuse. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> uh, I4. I don't traditionally try to stay off of I4 just because of the terrible drivers, but hey, it's only a quick trip on here. Plus, this bike handles it so well. So anyways, yeah, this new company actually contacted me, um, went back and forth with negotiations for a while, and uh, we finally ended up coming to terms, to an agreement, and they made me an offer that I couldn't refuse. So, I am transitioning to working for a new company, and uh, it's definitely going to be different in terms of workflow. Um, Previously, I did have it pretty good in terms of being able to work from home because the job that I do is a graphic designer and a web developer, you know, so I'm able to do that pretty much on a computer remotely, which is awesome. Yeah, I'm just uh, basically starting a new job. Uh, hopefully, it shouldn't impact the channel too much, but uh, just to kind of give you guys a heads up, it, like it might, it's a possibility that it might, so if the videos like slow down for a little bit, you know, that's, that's why. But, uh, yeah, I mean, I guess it's not too big of an update. Suction, right? <laughs> Am I right? Is it, is it sex? No. Right. I tried. But 
I'm actually working with a company right now. They're talking about outfitting the Lowrider S. Well, basically working with me if I make some how-to videos and all that good stuff. And uh, what's cool about it is that when I previously contacted them, I told the guy, I was like, hey man, how's it going? I basically told him who I was and about the channel. And he's like, oh yeah. He's like, I know who you are. And I'm like, oh well, cool, man. He was like, yeah, I watch the channel. I watch your, it's like, I watch a bunch of your videos. I'm like, hell yeah, that's awesome. And so then uh, basically he's talking about working with me and getting the bike, uh, getting some mods for the bike done. So they had to pass it by the owner. And so whenever they talked to the owner of the company, he was like, yeah. He's like, I've actually said he actually had a couple of my videos saved. Some of the how-to videos, so it's freaking awesome. Whew. It's warm. Need them green lights. Man, this tech mount thing is awesome. I gotta do a review on that. This thing holds the phone. Great. Great. control perk. Strap done. <laughs> awesome. Cruise control off. <laughs> uh, that's the first time I've actually seriously used the cruise control on this thing. <laughs> Just because I needed both my hands. It's a little harder to do whenever you forget to, you know, do your strap, especially if you have like a double D-ring, but I have the clasp, which is freaking awesome. Kind of familiar with this area. It's like Hunter's Creekish, I think. One of my friends lives around here somewhere. Forget where though. Whew. Son, that exhaust gets hot. Buddy, a fob, dude. All right, so I don't know if I've asked this in a previous video. If I have, I'll just cut this part out. But uh, tons of people say like Sarud or Al-Sadud, or sea -Doo. Yeah, all the gear right now, guys, and it's like almost 100 degrees. Damn. Dedicated. Although well, I'm not always dedicated. Anyways, um, how do you guys think I should spell al -Sadud? Should it be like A-S-A-H-D-U-D-E? -E, or A-S-A-H-D-E-W? Or S-U-H-D-E-W? Or is this a ton of ways to spell it? I feel like the... The original thing is like Asa, like Asa, like what's up, you know? Asa, dude, Asari. Because you know, you don't really say like, when you say Asari, it's just like that. What is, how do you spell that? It's beyond me. How do you spell that? Asari. Like, to me, the way it sounds, it would be like Asa, like A S A H, and then that would be like just the. Or something. Asada. What about these plug phones, man? They feel weird in my ears. They feel weird in the ear. What up, sir? Yeah, you guys see the setup we just set up in size. Yeah? Nice. Hell oh, yeah. Murder. Murder. Oh, yeah. Yeah, that. <laughs> oh, yeah. that's from, uh, Hunger Games. Oh, Hunger Games. 13, guys. Is it 13? Yes, yeah, 13. 13. I volunteer as tribute. Let's go, Rod. We're here. Blackheads going to Alaska. This should be good, you see? Yeah, buddy. Yeah, it's kind of close there. Hell yeah. Yeah. <laughs> oh, you got a dragonfly. It's a sign. I'm going to the dragon first. Tail of the dragon. <laughs> Woo! And I gotta put him on too. Oh, it's an omen. Damn, stuck in immigration traffic. Let's go. Here, what's on your flight? Three o'clock? Yes. We have a dragonfly hanging around. Supposedly that's a sign that you should hit dragon's tail. <laughs> He knows both of us are going so good. He's giving us uh, we're two of the Los Amigos. There's three of us. We're meeting our buddy up in Seattle. We're taking a trip from here to Alaska. I'm David. My name's Juan. This is Juan. Uh, um, departure day is going to be Tuesday on the 27th. 27th of June, 2017. Overall, the whole trip should take about a month and a half. We're leaving on the 27th of June, coming back around the 20th of August. Uh, we're going to do 
How many states was it? Um, it was, I believe, two countries and seven states. Seven states. states. Two countries, seven states. Uh, a rough itinerary is from here to Atlanta, Atlanta, Nashville. Uh, on the way there, we're doing Tales of the Dragons, uh, Devil's Triangle. We're going to do Blue Ridge yeah. Parkway. Um, on the way to Nashville, we're going to try to hit a little bit of the TAT. I don't know if a lot of people are familiar with that, which is the Trans-America Trail. Uh, after that, we head over to Nashville, St. Louis, Missouri, Kansas City, then the long stretch from Kansas Utah. City to Denver. Utah, and, then yep. Denver. No, no, we do Denver first, then we do Salt Lake City. Salt Lake City, Yellowstone Park, and then head over to Seattle, meet Third Amigo. We need to hit Idaho and yeah. Oregon. Do a couple local rides in, um, in Seattle area, then head up head up to Alaska. We do Vancouver, Whistler, all the way up to Alaska. Valdez, uh, Homer. We're going to do Dead Horse according to our dude, last, going last to Homer? change. We're going to Homer. Homer. I've been there, man. Yeah. The spit. Oh, my God. Y'all have this amazing view. Yeah. Really? Amazing view. Our last, our last change of plan was uh, Third Amigo said we're going to Dead Horse. So yeah, it's going to so take us a little lot longer. But a little longer. Uh, it's the top. Everybody knows. Fruit Ho Bay. Fruit Ho so Bay. Same thing. Everybody knows. End of the world. 24-hour long days. That's crazy. So We're yeah. excited. We're camping about 20 to 25 days out of the whole, out of, out of the whole month. But if we get a hang of it, we might do a little more. And if it's too rough, we might do a little less. Yeah. So this is most of our gears. Here's all our gears, our bikes. Um, we're hoping it all fits in the three boxes we're carrying. <laughs> and and strap more on, obviously. Okay. Obviously. And uh, weapons of choice, as you can tell, is a 2015 GS and 40,000 miles on it. Perfectly, it just got serviced. Then we have a 2012 GSA. Uh, 4,000, uh, no, I'm sorry, 7,000 miles on it, and it just got serviced as well. Uh, we did add a couple things to make the trip a little easier, as in uh, pegs, you know, we got highway pegs, air hawk, air air, you know, seat. air hawk seats. I'm taking a cooler in the back, he's taking a little uh, lunch box. We're taking an extra gallon and a half of uh, you got the little yeah, uh, extenders of the windshield. I haven't put mine on yet, yeah, but it's on there. You got like camelbacks. We camelbacks. camelbacks. We're riding with camelbacks riding on. With those on. That's about, yeah. That's about nice it. riding experience. That's going to be the most comfortable. Oh, well, we got a rain gear, of course. Yeah. Rain or shine, we got to ride. So. Plenty of socks. Plenty of socks. Well, actually, so you kind of find it. Um, you, we folded in those socks. Yeah. There's a socks, underwear, and uh, and a shirt for the day that we just have to worry about the pants. That's cool. So it's all packed into one little. Exactly. And we can, we got about 10 each, I maybe can, a little I, more. I can unfold one real quick to yeah. kind of show you. Okay. We got, see, this we, is, we took the long sleeve shirts and they're, they're all uh, real quick dry. So quick dry. And we have a, pretty hot a, down a pair of underwears. Yes. A pair a of underwears, a shirt sock. gets folded around and the socks get in there. And, and we're using riding, That's riding, awesome. uh, riding pants so that Pretty much gonna go back and forth with those most of the time. We have some jeans, just one pair. That's it. We're gonna get to packing. So, right. <laughs> see you, blockheads. <laughs> Ram mount here, running my cables to my charger, which is a little hidden. Uh, Air Hawk, Air Hawk 2, to be quite honest, like exactly what it says on the reviews. It's not the best thing in the world, but once you ride on it, you can't go on a ride without it. That's exactly the way I feel about it. Awesome technology though. Uh, this, uh, my left pannier has all my camping gear, stove, food, sleeping bag, I have an air uh, blow up air mattress, REI Passage 2. I've got my fishing rods here. I've got a little bit of fishing gear here because there are some of our camping are next to lakes. Uh, up here I have my motorcycle cover. 
my tarp, which goes underneath my REI uh, Passage 2. I'm still debating if I should take a tripod. I don't know, I'm gonna give it a little bit more of a thought. This big old yellow thing, easy access, is all my clothes uh, for the whole entire trip. I've got about uh, 10 shirts, 15 pairs of socks, 15 pairs of underwear, and uh, I'm going with about six pair of pants, where two of them are riding, and the rest are just busting through the city kind of thing. In this box, I have multiple, you know, a big variety of things such as all the other uh, essentials. All the other essentials, and overall, this is the baby weapon of choice, 2012 R1200 GS Adventure. Uh, this is yeah, the baddest thing for the trip. In reality, the only thing I got was a headlight cover. Uh, I'd rather pay another 40 to 50 bucks than another 600 for the whole assembly. I do need to get that for the oil cooler as well, which it might get ordered soon. This windshield extender. It looks like crap, but it works miracles. Hot um, damn, we're here. Happy, happy, happy. Uh, I can't say enough of it. It adjusts to whatever you want. You so, the right there, I get the wind right on top of my helmet. Right here, it completely goes over my helmet. For a helmet, I use a H HJC. A lot of people are against it, but I've been riding this. I've been riding with this for a long time. Modular, uh, modular, so I can actually ride in the highway with this up. I mean, with this on and this up, and I don't get that much wind. People still hear me good through the Cena. I have a Cena 10. And so does David. He has that all set up on his helmet as well. It's obviously highway pegs, you know. I usually set my foot on top of it rather than putting it on there. I feel it's a little more comfortable. What's up, guys? That's it. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> Everything fit. Mr. Like Matthew, I said earlier, good, actually. BMW Soft Bag 3. I think it's a 50 gallon, holds two helmets in it. But I was, I have. All my camping gear here fit everything. Uh, only thing out is my tent, but I have uh, my sleeping bag. I have my uh, my bed, which I have a blow up air mattress, pillow. I have pretty much a bunch of shit in there. One of the sides is a bunch of uh, utensils. Sleeping, you need that 20 hours of light out there. First aid kit, mosquito repellent, lighter, blah blah blah. All that stuff's on this side. The life water straw just life in case straw, yeah. if I need it. Uh, repellent and then my towels. A little quick access there. Water bottle that flattens out here. My uh, lunch box with uh, this pannier has all of it has. This is my small pannier. The other side is the bigger one that the helmet fits in. This is my smaller pannier. It has my light cover, rain gear. Oh, and my my blow up bed. I don't know if you guys see it, it looks like a couch that you just do it with the air. Oh yeah. So I can set up yeah, anywhere. Cool. So it's quick access, I just pop that out, there's nothing else in there. On this side it has all my clothes. Um, it has my shoes, tennis shoes, because I'm gonna have my riding shoes on, but uh, if I want to change it to normal shoes, they're in here. Um, and my other riding pants. So I have two riding pants, so I'm just switching back and forth. Unless we stop somewhere, I'll throw some jeans on and a uh, bathing suit. Uh, tent here, I actually got an academy. I am the cheap one out of the group. They will always clearly know that. <laughs> I have so all you the, can do this on a budget? You can do this on a budget. This is like 24 bucks, I think. Uh, all the lighting that I have, my headlamp, my campsite light, my flashlights, they're all like dollar, two dollar things. Air Hawk, kind of like how Hondi's is. Great, <laughs> super, super good. Gives you about, supposed to double your ride time. I don't know about that, but it's really comfortable. Just hit me in the back of oh, nice. Thanks. <laughs> a little visor thing, I haven't put it on yet. Gotta throw that on, and then highway pegs. Super comfortable too, I gotta get those. I usually just throw my uh, legs on the head. They don't, they're pretty cool, cause it's liquid cool, but I wanna actually have higher pace. Got my ram out, great, doesn't flinch at all. Yo uh, David, you know what the best part is? Nothing in that one? Yeah, you still got extra. Nice. For a helmet and a jacket, we go down. I gotta put this little, obviously, GSA sticker on one of my panniers. I took the most a, important, most important, Oh, yeah, I like going on there, boys. Hasn't gone on yet. It's going. Nice. Nice. <laughs> the, uh, and then I just threw this up here because I do not have an iPhone 7. I told you I'm the cheap one out of the group. So if it starts raining or anything like that, I'll throw it in here, roll it up. Oh, I'm not gonna, stop I'll give Juan credit for this one. He's going to love this. This is a, It's kind of like a, almost a holster, but I put everything in here. I used to ride with a fanny pack, and it was annoying. 
This is a lot better. You can just open it up, slide pretty much everything in here when we get off. You're walking with it on your hip. When you get on the bike, you're sitting down. It's right here, accessible. Amazing. Whose idea was that, buddy? I gave you the credit already, bro. He gave you credit. He gave you credit. He's hard to give you credit. He's he's credit. Right. And then, of course, camel pack. We'll have it on at all times. My jacket. I'm still debating if I'm taking those bungees because they're always helpful. All right. My helmet. Uh, it's a built. I do not know the model, to be honest, but it is a modular one. Got my Cena 10 also, me and Honey correct automatically. I get to hear his annoying. That's pretty much it. Um, BMW outlet plug, I connect it to my iPhone, but you can take this out and connect any other adapter you like oh, for nice. a car, That's awesome. car plug or whatever. Most important part. That's right. <laughs> um, we'll probably go for a ride now. Got how it feels, heavy yeah. ass. I'll follow you guys around. This camel. I'm not wearing a jacket, dude. It's so hot out yeah, here. Yeah, I'm not either. Alright, so these dudes are all packed up. They're not leaving to Alaska right now. But uh, they're going for a bit of a kind of a test ride with the bikes just to make sure everything feels good. Make sure nothing falls off and I'm just going to kind of follow them so that we're all good. Them blockhead stickers, man, they look good. Mm -hmm. <laughs> so yeah, they're just doing a quick test ride and then uh, going to head out. I'm going to head out. So pretty much as everybody has said, guys, we wish you safe travels. Godspeed. Rubber side down. Shiny side up. It's going to be awesome to see the adventure with these guys. Sorry. Yeah, it's going to be awesome to uh, see these guys as they update their page and this adventure that they're undertaking. Man, it's just totally crazy. Like, freaking southernmost tip of Florida to Alaska. Like, northernmost tip of Alaska at that. This is totally insane. So, guys, uh, just safe travels, man. Keep us updated. How they look? Good, man. Big! They look very big. <laughs> big, huh? <laughs> it's like, go. <laughs> yeah, they look good, man. They are loaded to the brim. So, yeah, once again, if you guys aren't following these dudes, Los Amigos ADV on Instagram. Screenshot here. Cool. They're using their, uh, they're all connected up. We got the Cena's. All right. Got speed, guys. Ride safe, brother. Man, they thought it all. They thought it through. And they are good to go. I don't know how long my batteries got left, but, uh, but I'll probably just go ahead and end it off there. Good God, it's hot. Save me, Pandora. Chevelle Radio. Give it to me. Yes. Closure. Chevelle, love it. Is that gum? That is gum. Bastards. Oh, we should be allowed to lane filter. Damn it. Man, it's like dangerously hot right now. All right, yo, since I don't know how much battery I have left, I'm gonna go ahead and end that episode off there. But uh, like I said, man, you guys be sure to go follow these dudes, Juan and David, and then they're joining the third Amigo up in Seattle. Man, it's got awesome adventure. Once again, we do wish you guys safe travels, best of luck, and expect to see lots and lots of pictures. You guys be sure to go follow the page. If you guys enjoyed the episode, be sure to hit the like button. If you guys aren't subscribed already, 
be sure to go ahead and hit the subscribe button as well and until next time you guys ride safe out there stay cool oh man especially if you're in florida holy hell it is a warm it is seriously ridiculous hot right now yeah this traffic sucks all right uh i'm out deuces that's all i get <laughs>